Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Leo. Um, this is going to be for September 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, we are going to take a look at your, what your shadow side is, what your shadow work is. Um, so for those of you guys that don't know what that is, basically it's getting in touch with a part of yourself that we, you repress. Uh, we, um, we all have it. Uh, this is our dark side. A part of our healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth is getting in touch with that, you know, working with that. Um, so we're going to take a look and see what that is, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your own replacements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right, so tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo and their shadow work, their shadow side for September 2023 for Leo. Tell me about Leo here when it comes to their shadow work, their shadow side for September 2023 for Leo. Great, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay. And the Nine of Wands. Hmm. You know, I feel like in the surface, you know, you're good. But deep down inside, I feel like you're hurt. Yeah, you're hurt. You're traumatized. Um, I just feel like, you know, I do feel like whatever mask that you've been holding up, this facade that you've been carrying in, like pretending like things are okay, I do feel like it's about to fall. I do feel like it's about to crumble. I do feel like it's about to come down. Keep in mind, you know, we are in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is a time where anything that has been unresolved, it bubbles up to the surface. So I feel like I'm not surprised that this is coming up for you. I do feel like you've been through a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of suffering. Uh, you know, I do feel like you've been betrayed by people that are closest to you, you know, and I feel like there's some stuff that still hasn't really been worked through yet. You know, I, ju I just feel like you're still holding on to a lot. Yeah, I still feel like you're holding on to a lot of that pain, a lot of that grief. And I feel like, you know, whatever happened to you is really unfair. But at the end of the day, when it comes to your own healing, you know, your own personal growth and your spiritual growth, uh, at the end of the day, that is your responsibility. You know, if you feel like someone here owes you an apology, absolutely they do. But I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't put all my eggs in one, into one basket and really, you know, wait for it. Uh, you know, expect someone here who did you wrong to give you that apology, you know. So I do feel like there's a lot of unexpressed pain and hurt and grief that you still haven't processed yet. Nine of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands and a Chariot. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you've been through a lot. You know, maybe you've been through a lot as a child. And I feel like some of you guys have really achieved some great successes in life. But deep down inside, like I said, I do feel like someone here is hurting. Someone here is really hurting. Um, Leo, even though I'm reading for you here, um, you could apply this to someone that you know, okay? Uh, you know, a family member, a friend, a person that you're dating. Ten of Swords, King of Wands, there you are, there you are right here with the King of Wands, Leo energy. We have the Emperor, Aries energy. So I, I feel like someone here didn't really have a strong role model when they were growing up. And I really feel like someone here really had to overcome a lot. Yeah, and I feel like someone here had to learn a lot on their own. Now, this could be a father figure. I'm getting it. this is a father figure. If it's not a father, it could be a motherly figure here. I do feel like there's been a lot of conflict with this individual, okay? And, you know, I feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting is that if you have a strange relationship with a parent, you know, I feel like you've been trying to work on, you know, bridge a gap with this individual, but I feel like this is an individual that's not really, really meeting you halfway. Three of Pentacles here and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you're having this major awakening or this epiphany where, okay, you know, I've done everything that I could with this individual. It's time to let this go and it's time to let all my pain and all my hurt go too. Yeah. 
so judgment sagittarius energy and the hangman i, I see you going through a spiritual I, I do feel like i do see you going through a spiritual um awakening here i do feel like you're evolving and growing here okay um what else do we have here for leo what else do we have here for leo what else does leo need to know look out for work on for september 2023 when it comes to their shadow work their shadow side the fool and the five of swords it's time to put yourself first yeah it's time to put yourself first it's time to really enjoy life enjoy what you've earned here especially when it comes to your finances and your money because that's looking really 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 good the full aries energy aquarius energy five of swords we have the page of wands and the four of wands page of wands aries leo sagittarius energy four of wands this is interesting. Some of you guys are really reconnecting with your inner child here too. Healing your inner child. Finding peace and harmony and stability here. And happiness. I feel like you're definitely searching that within yourself here with the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Moon. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're really conquering your fears. You know, I feel like you're really leaning into your intuition at this time. Okay? I feel like some of you guys could be getting a lot of messages and synchronicities and they feel like you guys are really listening to it at this time here, Leo. Um, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Moon, Cancer, Pisces. What else do we have here for Leo? The Fool, the Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Sun. There you are right here. Things are definitely turning around here for you. Yeah, whatever you hoped for, whatever you wish for, I do feel like it's coming true in a way. Because I do feel like you are finding happiness. You are letting all pain you are letting go of all that pain and all that hurt and all that suffering that you've been holding on to. With the King of Cups here and the Ace of Cups, I mean this could also be an indication that, you know, there could be new love coming into your life. Or that you just guys you guys just love yourself a lot at this time. Or that you guys are really emotionally empathetically and you know intuitively just really connected with uh, connecting with yourself here. Yeah, I do feel like someone here has felt very lost because like I said, I feel like someone here never really had that proper role model. And I feel like someone here has been working on healing that. The uh, Knight of Wands and the Strength card, Leo Energy, the Moon, and the Eight of Pentacles. Seems like you've been working on really, s working on getting back on your own two feet here and just really standing in your power and remaining in your power here. Some of you guys have been really working on honing in your intuition at this time, honing in on uh, your spiritual, your spiritual uh, path here. Just really focusing on your spiritual path, focusing on your healing, focusing on your intuition, focusing on you know connecting with a higher power here. Okay, I feel like you guys are really connected to the universe at this time. Your guides and your angels and your ancestors. I do feel like there is something beautiful coming in for you in terms of a relationship here too. Yeah, in terms of a relationship, because I feel like you're just having or that you're you've taken time to have this better relationship with yourself and not allow yourself to suffer anywhere by holding on to all this pain and all this hurt. OK, so uh, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.